Alrighty, good evening YouTube. How are we doing tonight? It's been a couple of days since my last video went up. Uh, I left that alone and left it, let it be the only video just so that way I could see where it goes and uh, so in my opinion I think it's done pretty well so far. But as you can see, look at all the cases that I have. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a screen shield case combo four parter uno dos tres cuatro uh video set in which i'm going to show you the top five cases even though i said four parts you'll see why uh which cases are going to be used that can be used with uh, a full frontal screen shield for the iphone 6. now this one and in my last video is the Spigen Curved Crystal Screen Shield. And and if you want, I can link somewhere here or in one of the other videos my first one. And I tell you, or basically review it. And it's supposed to be, covers the full front and that it's supposed to come right to the edge where the gold is. Now, I pointed out some little little issues I had, but I'm still rocking it, still using it. Um, and then there's a, I don't know, a counter thing on their website as to what I pointed out and what their reason for it is. It, you know, just go to their site. I'll link it <clears throat> in the description, maybe down below. And uh, you, you can see for yourself. But this is just my opinion on what I think about it what I think about it and this is going to be my take and what I'm going to show you viewers what cases uh, can work with it. Now this is where the four part with five cases comes in handy. I'm going to show you one of them right now. It is a personal favorite. A This is actually the top five that I have. In fact when you when I when you click on the link for this video there's a funny story on why it looks so weird. <coughs> But this is my top five cases that I have used for my iPhone. This one was the first one that I ever got because it was like some promotional deal at AT&T. Um, then once I heard Otterbox came out with theirs, I waited until the Commuter Series came out. Then this one right here is the Spec Candy Shell. I love Spec products along with Spigen. They're, they just make really good cases and screen shields. Um, and in fact, this is the one I'm going to show you first because this is the one I had doubts on and what Spigen was, is warning people as you can see right there and what I point out in my other video. Um, this is one of the cases where they, they had the, uh, doubts and want people to be cautious on. <clears throat> and this one, of course, is the Spigen Tough Farmer. This is their gunmetal case. It looks gold because of the light, but this is the gunmetal silver and this was a case that once I actually had one of these for my iPhone 5s and in fact for my iPad right here even though it's naked at the moment <clears throat> I really like these cases but if you want like a my own review on it uh, let me know in the comments and so that way I can make a video but right now these videos right now is just to show you I'm just going to put the case on and then show you <coughs> where the screen shield is or like where they, they meet up. And they're just going to be like really quick videos. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I'm just going to move these guys off to the side here. How's everybody's day going? Good. Mine's going grand. All right. Spec candy shell. One of my favorite cases of all time. I've used them when I first got the iPhone 3GS way back. What was that? 2009, 2010? Ooh, long time ago. Really great cases. Full, uh, it's a real sleek rubber, smooth rubber on the back, and then a kind of grippy rubber here on the front. Um, but it, it doesn't get stuck when you put it with your po in your pocket, and um, 
just an overall really good case. I mean, as you probably saw, and I'll show you guys again, look at those battle scars. Look at all that. Yes, I used the heck out of it. But anyway, this is not a review on the case. This is just to show you how you put it on, and again, how it's going to work with the full frontal screen shield. So basically, with from what I've learned in the past, is when you have a case like this, buttons in first, you're just going to snap it. Oops. Oh, as me see, I'm kind of having a hard time here. It, this is really stiff rubber. I mean, this is where they get their uh, shock protection from. And then you just... Right there. Having to pull it over is what I believe Spigen was having was worried about with the with it being full edge to edge cover. But as you can see, no nothing's pulling up. Let me see if I can light where are you? Nothing what I can see. I'm actually looking off camera too. And in fact, do 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 Yeah, there's nothing. Um, you can't quite see it. I know I pointed it out in my my uh, first video. You can, I can see off camera that where the screen shield stops and where the case stops. So there's actually a little itty bitty space where it's just pure foam. But like here on the corners, kind of overlaps. But then I want to say it overlaps. I I can't tell even off camera. But let's just say. Screen shields here, in case they touch, no phone showing at all, which is perfect, especially if you're someone like me who does not like any type of scuff mark on the phone, even down here. And in fact, let's let's move down there. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. In fact, look at that. Where that little light glares, that's the screen shield. Trust me, I'm seeing it off camera as well. That's the screen shield, and we'll go up here. Let me see. I did it before, where'd you go? Okay, well, it's not gonna work with me this time. But anyway, case number one, spec candy shell is a definite yes. You get full protection, screen shield does not get pulled up. So, there you have it. Case number one is a spec candy shell.